All right. Hey, this is Jake, and today we're going to talk about content calendars again and to see if Airtable is going to be the right solution for you. So let's dive in. Let's do a deep dive today. Uh, spreadsheet meet database. All right. What, what does that mean? Welcome uh, to Airtable. With Airtable, you can organize anything. Projects, customers, ideas, you name it. It's as straightforward as a spreadsheet, but gives you the power of a database to work exactly how you want to work. Whether you're managing a successful record label, planning an upcoming move, it's easy to organize anything that you can imagine. Links to other tables, and even drag and drop file attachments, complete with doc. Okay, so it's like a an, an interactive list. Um... And they've got uh, some other things in there, uh, like interactive columns that you could use with uh, different things called blocks. Um, here, let's go through the blocks thing real quick, okay? Uh, so you basically have visually, um, right over here you have your lists, and then to the right is your blocks area. You could map and geocode, you could bar, line, and scatter chart your lists. You could do a timeline of your list, page designer, you could create a little... I mean, this is basically like a SharePoint solution that's online as a web app. Um, and there's a bunch of other options like this as well. Um, I mean, this does a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Very cool. Um, 3D Model Explorer. Um, I don't know why they have that. Color Palette. Um, they also as a block do conference planning video chat you could send sms time tracker which is kind of neat um and oh look here's the pivot table okay so here's your list you got and you, you can make it into a, a, a pivot table just like sharepoint so if any of you are um comfortable with like an office 365 solution all of this should be pretty familiar to you so if you ever worked with trello or any kanban cards this will look just like home to you uh but is it worth it right um so what they have too is they have all these different templates and this is where the the content calendar really uh idea came from it came from a, a user uh from uh, one of the other content calendar videos that I did, and she asked, uh, what about Airtable? I did a like, very small review the last time I did this, uh, which was like a year ago, and um, I didn't really find any value of it then, but let's do a deep dive today. Um, so they have a content calendar uh, template, digital video uh, production project tracker, so let's just take a look at what their template uh, looks like. Uh, they have a they have an interactive template right here, which I think is super cool. But what we have here is um, different views, or rather, they're different tables, right? These are different tables up here. Good view, content, okay. So you could change your views over here. This is very nice, actually. Uh, so let's say I want to only look at the published ones here. That's sort of nice. Uh, you have all these different authors, which are all different users, right? Um, and then, so let's clear out the uh, the filter now. And let's go to, uh, I don't know, let's do all of them, right? All content. Um, okay, cool. So what about the blocks? So I have a block over here, which is a description, dashboard. Okay, you get a chart block, countdown block, page, uh, yeah, okay. So you got a bunch of different blocks. Right, interesting. Okay, so if you get out of the block area, well, let's just see this, right? So I'm assuming this is on a website for voyager.com, and these are like articles, headline, the subheader, where's the section, 
the status, the header image, the author, the draft due, the publication date, and then the link and whatever cross posts are doing a social. So if you go over to social, you get the, the Voyager Facebook, the Instagram, and things like that, right? Um, what I'm interested in knowing is, does this actually post to to Facebook? So can you like create a social post on here, uh, and then does the platform actually post then onto Facebook? Um, so that's a good question. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, Airtable and Facebook. Connect Airtable to... Okay, cool. So they're doing it through Zapier. Uh, so they're zapping it from Airtable right over to Facebook. Um, I, okay, cool. So choose a trigger in action. All right, right on your, right on your Facebook page. Ah, well, that's actually pretty nice. And they have, like, an if-then-then-this type of thing. Does it have, like, a nice designer, though? I mean, can you, like... Well, I guess you don't really need it. Um, these, like, third-party apps that are posting onto, uh, onto Facebook are usually a little clunky, but let's take a look. Um, okay, so we did that. We did the template. Um, this is their nice blog. I think it's really... Sweet. Oh, yeah, check check a look at this. <laughs> um so they put every every Star Trek book ever into a spreadsheet view. And what can I do with this? Wow. This is cool, but like you know. Throw me like an XLS and I'll be fine too, by the way. I don't need you to put this into Airtable. Um, okay, cool. So pricing wise, we got free plus and pro. Uh, let's take a quick look over at Hacker News. Um, this is from 10 months ago. I like Airtable, but the per base row limits, which are 50,000 before you reach contact us for pricing, are too small for many things I like to use it for. And there's something a bit odd in their pricing model, isn't there? The plus tier is $10 per user per month with a limit of 5,000 records per base. The pro tier is $20 per user per month with a limit of 50,000 records per base. So suppose I want to use it to replace a spreadsheet where our staff records some kind of work they've done. If I have a staff of two, I could pay Airtable 20 bucks per month on the plus tier and each person can do work generating 25 records in a shared space before he has to upgrade. But if I have a staff of 50 and I pay Airtable $500 per month on the plus tier, each person can only generate 100 records before I have to upgrade. Even if I pay them 1000 per month on the pro tier, I'm still worse off on this metric at 1000 records per person. So, you know, it... And this guy says it pretty good. Wearing my, you know, wearing the SaaS product manager hat, um, the enterprise level pricing is going to be uh, probably a little bit easier and they could squeeze a little bit more records than each person, right? But we're talking enterprise level here. Um, we're not talking for the, uh, the, uh, the entrepreneur or the um, small business here. Um, but that is the pricing model here. We're talking uh, 10, 15, 20 dollars per month per user to do these. And you know, they restrict certain things. They restrict the record limit, the attachment space, the blocks even, uh, the record coloring. Oh no, not the coloring. What am I gonna do without my colors? Okay, so who are these people? What, what are we doing with Airtable? Here, let's do a little deep dive. Airtable. 10 points every single time I say deep dive. All right, so they, they got some pretty heavy duty analytics and tracking. Widgets are using intercom for their, uh, I'm assuming it's their using intercom for what? You know what? This artwork sure looks a lot like Intercom, doesn't it? Where's their little chat bubble like icon that pops up? Look at all this artwork. 
looks exactly like Intercom. Okay, does this artwork not look like Intercoms? Is this, like, even the website looks a lot like Intercoms. Maybe they're owned by the same people. Huh. Alright, anyways, uh, where were we? Um, roll bar, smart app banner, frameworks using Express, Ajax, CDN, JS. This is heavy duty stuff they're doing here. Nice. I'm using Facebook React. Ah, here, here's all the advertising. Check this out. They're on ad roll. Double click, Facebook custom, LinkedIn ads, verify link, <laughs> Mailgun, SPF, Google Apps for Business. Damn. Alright, well, they're certainly legit. Um, when we go on to, uh, to SEM Rush, um, they're also legit. I mean, check out this. Check out their, check out their backlinks. That's, that's ridiculous. Their display advertising almost has 500 total ads. Um, who are their competitors? Um, main paid competitors are Zoho, Monday, Smartsheet, and QuickBase. QuickBase and Smartsheet are... I haven't really heard of them, but Monday, we've all heard of Monday, hopefully by now. Um, I did a video of Monday, and I was using them for a little bit. Um, it's just, you know, what can't we do with just email and a spreadsheet nowadays? I mean, I know we're all looking for uh, solutions for web-based and, and, like, but I didn't get too far with Monday. I like Monday, but I didn't get too far with them, so... Oh, the exit intent. I, I want to hug the people that created this. Oh, shut up. All right. So anyways, uh, Zoho Monday. Zoho is a little bit more of a um, larger web-based like CRM. They also do tons of other things too, right? They do, they do email. They do... Tons of stuff. Yeah, they have like a whole like suite of uh, of like apps that they that they bought up. Wow, they have CRM, workplace finance. Ooh, this is cool. But yeah, I mean, just like just like Airtable though, their products are not just the content calendar. They're they're so much more than just a content calendar. I mean, I mean, look at this. They're they're everything. You know, content production, creative, event planning. I think Airtable is trying to become a little bit more like a Zoho and maybe even more like an Intercom at this point. Maybe Intercom and Airtable are going to have a baby and make a new company. Um, anyway, so uh, those are their competitors. Um, so yeah, Smartsheet, which... Yeah, look at that stuff. This is exactly like it, right? They got projects, grids, calendars, dashboards, cards, portals, forms, automations, integrations, connectors, control center. Um, this is this is a a direct competitor with Airtable. Um, QuickBase is looking to be create a better way to organize contacts uh, platform. Product overview, collaboration, dashboards, integrations. It's all pretty much the same, right? So, okay. Do you really need all this stuff, right? Um, oh, hey, they're, they're using Intercom too. Look at that. Look at that. Nice Intercom. Love, love me some Intercom. Um, yeah, so, okay. So, if you're... A person that wants to use this as a content calendar then for example you are gonna have to be paying um, what at least ten to twenty dollars per user per month to use this collaboratively with your team and if you have uh, if you have come on now come on now if you have one two three Four, five, 
or so people, that's going to be a little pricey for you, right? And um, you can do the same exact thing with other options, with other content calendars. You can do that with a free content calendar. You could build yourself a, a, a spreadsheet and, you know, and make it nice and collaborative like that. Hell, you could use Excel online. You could use anything that of a low-tier Office 365. Hell, you could even do Google, you know? Get a Google sheet and, and, and you know, try to save some money, you know, every month. You don't need Airtable for this. I think it's mainly a waste of money. Um, I mean, for the use case, for the content calendar alone, I would say, no way, move on. Try something else. This, don't bother with this. Don't bother with Monday. Don't bother with Smartsheet. Don't bother with QuickBase. Definitely don't bother with Zoho. Uh, but if you're like a small business and you need the whole integration of apps, you know, maybe Zoho. You know, maybe Zoho is the right way. I don't know. But definitely not Airtable. I say stay away from the content calendar of Airtable. And uh, let's try it. Let's try to think of something a little bit better. Anyways, Jake Lawrence, I'm signing off. Hopefully, this was a little bit uh, of an eye opener for some people that were considering Airtable. Uh, but come on, I, if you want and to try to convince me that Airtable is the right solution, comment below. I'll respond to any questions you want. Okay, subscribe, like share, do the things you do. Um, much love, people. Much love.